Want to take your gaming experience to the next level? In this guide, we'll show you how to safely overclock your GPU to achieve smoother gameplay, higher frame rates, and an overall performance boost. You'll unlock your GPU's full potential without the risk of overheating or damaging your hardware. And if you love gaming tips and performance hacks, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games. Using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Step 1. Update NVIDIA drivers for overclocking stability. Before overclocking your GPU, it's crucial to ensure your NVIDIA drivers are fully updated. Updated drivers include important optimizations, bug fixes, and stability improvements that enhance GPU performance and overclocking potential. To check for updates, open GeForce Experience and navigate to the Driver tab. Click Check for Updates, and if a new driver is available, proceed with the installation. Updated drivers help maintain stability under overclocked conditions and ensure better compatibility with overclocking tools like MSI Afterburner. Step 2. Optimize GeForce Experience for overclocking. Once your drivers are updated, Fine-tuning settings in GeForce Experience can help reduce system overhead, improving overclocking efficiency. First, disable the in-game overlay. Overclocking pushes your GPU to its limits, and any unnecessary background processes can affect performance and stability. If you're not using NVIDIA's recording features, turning off the in-game overlay reduces CPU and GPU load, resulting in lower input lag and higher FPS stability. Regarding image scaling settings, leave image scaling unchanged for now. We will configure precise settings in the NVIDIA control panel later to balance visual quality and performance, ensuring stable overclocking. Step 3. Install MSI Afterburner for GPU overclocking. You can download this file from my official website, the link is provided in the description below. To safely overclock your GPU, we will use MSI Afterburner, a powerful and widely used tool that allows precise control over clock speeds, voltages, and fan settings. Begin by adjusting the core clock for a safe overclock. Suppose our current core clock is at 200 MHz, which is stable under default settings. To find the optimal overclock, increase the core clock in small increments of 15 to 30 MHz for better precision. A good starting point is plus 20 MHz. Apply the change and run a 3D benchmark test, such as Heaven Benchmark or Fermark, to check for stability. A crucial factor in overclocking is temperature management. A GPU running too hot can cause instability, performance drops, or even hardware degradation over time. Most GPUs have a thermal limit of around 83 degrees C, but it's best to stay between 70-75 degrees C for safe overclocking. Monitor temperatures during the benchmark to ensure the GPU stays within safe limits. If the GPU remains stable at past 20 MHz, continue increasing in small increments of 20 MHz, applying changes and rerunning benchmarks. Based on general user experiences, stable overclocks are often found in the plus 50 to plus 150 MHz range. Exceeding plus 200 MHz is not recommended as it may cause crashes or instability. If you experience crashes, artifacts, or black screens, reduce the core clock by 10-15 MHz until stability is restored. By carefully following these steps, you'll be able to fine-tune your GPU for maximum performance while maintaining stability and efficiency. Hey guys, now I'm going to recommend you Gear Up Booster, which you can grab for free using the link in the description. Just launch the tool, select Fortnite, and it will automatically connect you to the most optimal server for the lowest possible ping. As an example, I've managed to reduce my latency by 11 milliseconds, which has improved my overall performance by more than 100%. I've been using this for all the games I play on my PC, so be sure to check it out using the link in the description. Step 4. Configure MSI Utility for Enhanced GPU Performance. After fine-tuning your GPU's clock speeds, the next step is to optimize system communication with your GPU using the MSI utility. This adjustment helps reduce latency, improve responsiveness, and enhance stability, especially when overclocking. To begin, navigate to the MSI utility folder, right-click on the program, and select Run as Administrator to grant it the necessary permissions. If you haven't downloaded the tool yet, you can find it on my official website, link provided in the description. Once the program opens, locate your GPU, AMD or NVIDIA in the device list. Check the MSI, Message Signaled Interrupts, box next to your GPU, and set Interrupt Priority to High from the drop-down menu. Click Apply to save the changes. 
this tweak improves GPU communication by allowing the GPU to send data more efficiently, reducing CPU bottlenecks. Additionally, it lowers input lag, enhancing system responsiveness, especially in gaming and high refresh rate environments. Step 5. Best Throttle Stop Settings for Overclocking and Performance Throttle Stop is a powerful tool that allows fine-tuned CPU control, helping you reduce throttling, improve stability, and maximize performance, crucial for both gaming and overclocking. To set up Throttle Stop for optimal performance, download and run Throttle Stop, then open the Throttle Stop folder and launch throttlestop.exe as administrator. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can download this file from my official website, the link is provided in the description below. In the main interface, locate the performance section and check the following boxes. High performance, ensures your CPU runs at maximum speed without power saving interruptions. Disable BD Prochot, prevents unnecessary thermal throttling triggered by other components. Disable Speed Step, forces the CPU to maintain higher clock speeds by preventing dynamic downclocking. And Disable C1E, reduces latency by keeping your CPU in an active state preventing unnecessary power saving transitions. Click turn on to activate the optimized profile and click save to ensure your settings persist across reboots. Step 6. Best NVIDIA control panel settings for overclocking and performance. To fully optimize your GPU for overclocking, you need to fine tune the NVIDIA control panel settings. This ensures maximum FPS, reduced latency and improved stability all crucial for squeezing out every bit of performance from your overclocked GPU. To access the NVIDIA control panel, right-click on your desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. If it doesn't appear, search for NVIDIA control panel in the Windows search bar. If you still can't find it, download it from the Microsoft Store. First, adjust image settings for maximum performance. Click on adjust image settings with preview, select use my preference emphasizing, and move the slider all the way to performance. Click apply to save the changes. Go back and select use the advanced 3D image settings, click apply, and then take me there. Now, let's fine tune your 3D settings for best overclocking performance. Image scaling, off, improves performance, no unnecessary upscaling. Ambient occlusion, off, removes unnecessary processing. Anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing, off, quality settings not needed for performance. Background application, max refresh rate, off, SUDA GPUs, set to all. DSR factors, off, prevents unnecessary resolution scaling, low latency mode, on, not ultra, prevents additional input lag, max frame rate, off, better to cap FPS in-game if needed, OpenGL GDI compatibility, auto, OpenGL rendering, GPU, select your GPU, power management mode, prefer maximum performance, prevents downclocking, preferred refresh rate, highest available, prevents unnecessary refresh rate drops, Shader cache, unlimited, reduces in-game stuttering, texture filtering, anisotropic sample optimization, on, negative LOD bias, allow, texture filtering, quality, high performance, threaded optimization, auto, better system management, triple buffering, off, vertical sync, v-sync, off, unless your FPS is below 60, virtual reality pre-rendered frames, off, Vulkan OpenGL, pre-rendered frames, default, with these NVIDIA control panel optimizations, your overclocked GPU will deliver the best performance, allowing you to push higher clock speeds while maintaining stability. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.